prophecy for. Don't despair when you can't feel me by your side. Given to Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomiah, February 5th, 1997. From Prophecy 105, Yahweh said to put this up on all prophecies from now on. I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or woman, even before there was a ministry. I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hand. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that is given birth. It is from the mouth of Yehushu, your Mashiach, that is given birth. It is from the mouth of the Ruach HaKodesh, your Imayah, that is given birth. If it had only been by your hand, it would have filled long ago. It is by the Shekinah glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival it is not by your breath or would have filled. Prophetic word begins. Tell them, my child. Tell them I no longer can hold back my father's rage. I have tried. I have called out for mercy on those that intentionally defile all that is holy. Those that refuse to acknowledge the word sin. Those in the pulpits that make poor excuses for sin. Can even the best excuse cover the blackness of sin? Yet when I plead with them to repent, to turn away from sin, they mock me and say, Yahweh does not care, he understands. They tell my prophets and apostles to shut up and leave them alone, to keep their words to themselves. They won't allow them to speak in churches and allow demonic occultic spirits to enter in the churches so even a prophet is not safe while praying. These evil spirits lie in wait, knowing the prophets are coming to send forth my warnings, and they are blocked, and yes, some even harmed. The greater the warning, the greater the opposition from the enemy. Satan is trying hard to silence my prophets and apostles, and those who have been told to warn the people. Warn them of, of a God in Nahum 1 that says he speaks in the storms and earthquakes. Warn them that Yahweh is a jealous God and he is, will not be. He will not end, allow any other gods before him. Warn them that Yahweh's anger is not easily appeased. Warn them. Still I, Yahushua, send forth my messengers to warn them, and like in the Bible, they are beaten up and some even killed. I have spoken about the satanic plants in the churches. No one is listening. So few even attempting to expose them. I have warned them that Satan is in the midst of the churches, and he is battling for false doctrine. Spirits of rebellion. A spirit to pervade the church that sin is not sin. But I am a holy God and I demand you to be holy as I am holy. I put my own spirit within you so you know right from wrong. Sin is black and is not gray. Holiness is white and is no other color. Some will now allow Satan to take that and make a racial confrontation on them. Stop it now! You know what I mean. Only red will wash away this sin from your minds. And that is the blood of Yahushua Mashiach at Calvary. I am warning you now, the reason my presence is not being felt as before is because I am grieving. I am weeping for my, what I must do very soon. Did they listen to this prophet whom I now use when I warned beforehand that China would taste my anger through earthquakes? The biggest one has not yet occurred, but is coming. They have killed so many of my children and tortured and imprisoned my children, my messengers. For this, the government will pay mightily, and the country will be ripped apart with earthquakes as they seek to defy my people and turn them away from me for fear of openly worshiping the God they once served and now fear openly to serve. As they divided my people, so I will divide their land. I am protecting those that are mine, and I know who is mine. I have been, sh I have sh I even shaken the prison doors like in the times of old. So the prisoners who preached the gospel, this was their only crime, would be freed. I am coming in a mighty way. And this year, though your local news stations refuse to admit the destruction and anger I've already exhibited this year, I will start demonstrating in ways they will no longer be able to ignore. They blame it on Mother Nature. There's only one creator and I am the father of all creation. I am who I am and there is no other. I share my glory with no one, especially a mother nature. I have sent forth the warnings in television programs. Yes, the rock has cried out, but are they listening? So few, oh so few.
Don't think I am rejoicing in what I must do, for I am not. But I must, for the children now think they rule the parent. A chain of volcanoes are going to go up at one time. It will be my red hot lava that spews forth, that symbolizes my anger. How, f how few even try to be holy anymore. They think I will weak at sin. If only they would repent. If only they would realize I am a God that does not change. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. You must change, not the great I am. I am who I am, and I apologize for nothing I do. I answer to no one. The great Yahweh is angry, and even my son. The one I gave to you as a savior cannot appease my anger much longer. I am about to vent some of my anger. Beware all who have mocked me, and the word of Yahushua, and silence those who have have the anointing of my messengers, abused, tortured, imprisoned in mankind's prison. I am angry! I warned Sodom and Gomorrah, and I am warning you now once again, the world is in a modern day Babylon, this world. I am a creator who demands holiness. I put in every human a place that desires holiness and a relationship with their creator. I will not only send a volcano that will erupt in a chain reaction, but I will shake the earth as a parent shakes a disobedient child. I'm going to shake not one, one section of the earth at a time, but many sections of the earth at a time. I'm going to send forth my feet that will stomp on the earth in rage. My anger is great toward the rebellious who have shaken their fists in my face and said they refuse to obey a book and rules written so many thousands of years ago. For those who use my name as a curse word, for those who mock my son's blood that was shed for them at Calvary, I'm going to send forth the hurricanes to demonstrate the tears I have shed over my unrepentant children. Over those that I have created that I should have, should have been my children but refused to acknowledge me as father, who turned to unholiness and did not even attempt to please me or seek me. Floods will come and will cover many sections of the earth at one time. These will symbolize my tears, as so many have held over heaven. Those that choose Satan over Yeshua, I will send forth the tornadoes and it will be my fist sending forth the flying wind. I will demonstrate this is not only in one place, but you will see many come together. You will know I am speaking and I am angry. And I am ang my anger is not easily appeased. There have always been earthquakes, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes here and there. But when you see them like a chain reaction, many at the same time, then you will know this is the time I have warned you about. Repent now before it's too late. I have been holding back my anger far too long now. For the sake of my son and his prayers for you, the people I have held back my wrath. But Satan mocks me and taunts me because I have not punished you. He uses my own creation to mock and taunt me. The mouths I created. The mouths I anointed at one time. Yes, in my own churches I am mocked as the holy word is twisted and conformed to man's image. Not a holy God's image. They are teaching homosexuality is of me. It's not sin. It's Yahweh's fault. It's a birth defect. The lying and deceiving spirits are going forth out, out of those that have a form of godliness but no godliness within. I will personally deal with those evil shepherds in ways that will show the people I am not a god to be mocked. I am not a god to be easily angered. I will deal harshly and you will see them drop dead in the pulpits. Those that encourage these things in abortion. I knew each and every one of you before you were in your mother's womb. I created and fashioned and planned what I wanted your lives to be. It was your choice whether you, wanted, whether you became what I intended. Don't blame me, for I only wanted the best for you. Even those of you who have suffered and have led a life that has not seemed blessed, I will and have used you for my glory. In your sufferings you have glorified me as others see you. See, you will still please me, serve me, and worship me. My anointing pour, pours forth in your lives even greater than those who have led a life that has few problems. Your life has not been given the blessings of others. It has not been, it is not because I do not love you like the others. It is because like Yahushua was put on this earth to suffer for the sake of others, 
so too will you. And great will be your rewards in heaven if you remain faithful to the end. Some of my children have become bitter as they see the heathen, those that never bow a knee or give a prayer to me of thanks. And my children say, what kind of God is this? I say to you, you should not envy the wealthy who do not even acknowledge me or the wicked. It seems they have every blessing in life for that is all they will ever have and that and then will be eternally and then will be eternally damned the eternal and eternal hell and torment they gave up earth earth they gave up eternity in heaven for brief years on earth where they partook in every kind of sin especially the sin of thinking they did not need a savior you on the other hand should should you stay faithful, you will see heaven, and for a brief time on earth you will know suffering, hatred, and abuse. But don't turn bitter. Don't turn away from me. Turn toward me instead. Look, what a loving father I am. I have forewarned you, so when these things come to the earth, you already know, you already have been forewarned. So you can repent and warn others before my anger is vented. I send my prophets to warn before I send the to but you, but who are the, but you who are faithfully loving, serving me, washing yourselves in the blood of Yahushua Mashiach, so you remain holy in my sight. You have nothing to fear during this time. You will not be caught unaware. I will protect all that is mine, and I know all that is mine. I know each and every one of your hearts, and I have your souls in my hands. For you have given your life and your soul to me when you accepted Yahushua as your master and savior. You have pre presented your bodies as a living sacrifice for my glory. I am not angry with you. I love you. And I will shelter and I will protect you. Yes, even when you see the world shaken in my rage, cry out to me. I will be there to comfort you. The reason so many of you are not feeling my presence right now has nothing to do with you. Yes, even the one I am using to speak these words knows, and not from one word to the next what she will type, is having difficulty feeling my presence since the last time I used her to warn the people. I have given her this unusual anointing to get my people's attention that she would have no other way to speak to, for I have scattered you throughout the world. My prophets and messengers will hear and have spiritual ears and eyes and a bold mouth to warn the people who are not listening. I tell you again, prophets and children of mine, do not despair and think I have left you when you can't feel me by your side anymore. I have not gone anywhere. I am still here. I am, I am only silent, for it is the calm before the storm. I get silent before I lose my temper, for I am trying to hold back my rage. But the silence, but since the flood of Noah, it has been building again. And I am in grief when I see that all that I have done, even given my only begotten son as a sacrifice. Abraham had another sacrifice. I gave my son for your savior. How few received him. I am angry. I gave his body so you could be healed. How few will even believe that there is healing because of the lashes that were laid upon his body. I gave his blood so you could be forgiven. How few will accept this gift at Calvary. I gave his life so you could be saved. Oh, this is why you feel the loss of my presence. Haven't you ever been so angry with your children that you lost a desire to speak for fear of your own anger? Haven't you ever grieved so hard you just wanted to be silent or even or been so angry that you just that you just wanted to be silent? Daring not to vent your anger for fear of what might happen? I am there. I am not angry with those that miss filling my presence. I am angry with those who do not even notice I am being silent. My presence is not being missed. For those of you feeling my presence is missing and grieve for that and are repenting and wondering what you have done wrong. Now I am speaking forth out of my handmaiden and in, and telling you you have no you have every you have done everything that is right. And that is why you are noticing my silence and not feeling my presence. And I am not speaking to those who are in sin and never knew me or missed me to begin with. 
You know who I'm speaking to. Only my children will understand. For those of you who were my children but became lukewarm, come back now, I beg you. Miss me and long to hear my voice again. I have never left. You have. Repent of teaching error. Repent of teaching sin is not unholiness, and there is no such thing as sin. For an all-loving Yahweh will forgive you no matter what you do. There's no need of repenting or turning away from the sin. Can't you see that this is a lie from the devil? The devil says, you don't need a savior. My gift, my beloved son Yahushua, can't you see? As I weep, when I think of the price my beloved has paid for you, if you will say there is no such thing as sin and everything is acceptable to me, I am a God that does not care anymore or, who, or what you sleep with. What innocent blood is shed, even the unborn? It's not sin to murder them as long as you cannot see them. Even when you see them, as long as they're murdering innocent babies to save the life of others, oh well. They are used for, for something. This is murder and this is sin. Preachers, you will answer to me personally. For you have said you are working for me, but you have been working against me. Homosexuality is sin, abortion is sin, murder is sin, rebellion is sin, witchcraft is sin. You know what sin is. Read the Ten Commandments. Preachers, apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists, get back to preaching sin as sin. Only a repented sinner will be forgiven. No more, everyone close your eyes so we don't want to embarrass anyone, so they can't raise their hands and accept Yahushua Mashiach as their savior. Do you have any idea how that has angered me? Since when is it a source of embarrassment to come to Yahushua for the give forgiveness of your sins? There cannot be salvation without confessing your sins to others. Confession is made unto salvation. I tell you, if you do not confess me before men, Yahushua will not confess you before I, the Father. My own children, my own evangelists, prophets, pastors, teachers, apostles have done this. Oh, the pain, the grief I have bared over this. How long do you think that these people who are too ashamed to stand and confess they need a savior will stay saved? Right away the enemy will steal the little seed that was planted. Those of you who have done this, repent! Openly refuse to do this anymore. For you will answer to, for the lost souls that would have been saved. For those, those of you who have made me out to be a god of deceit, as you say, they can raise their hands in secret and say, You shall come into my heart without first teaching. They must weep and repent of their sins. Turn away from those sins. Agree to put Yahushua first in their lives and to follow after holiness, not unholiness. You will answer to me personally also, and for all those that thought, once saved, always saved, now we can do anything we want because all our sins are covered. You did not teach them. Why do you say you love me and not obey me? Those of you who have used the spirit of trickery to get people to raise their hands while everyone's eyes are closed and only to have them come up and stand before the people after you led them to believe that they could do it in secret. You have shown them that Yahweh is a god of deceit and trickery. I am not. For this you shall pay. If you do not repent, yes, before the earth starts rocking, I am... I am even rocking, dividing the ungodly, and the godly in what is supposed to be my churches, my temples. I speak of the gathering places now, for the true church and temples are my people. But in the church buildings you will see what happens to those who have deceived my sheep, or those who have wanted to be sheep but turn into goats. For the evil shepherd is a wolf sent, to, sent amongst my sheep to destroy them for lack of knowledge and discernment. I am angry! In the church buildings you have already seen the division starting. I am exposing the enemy within your own camps. Beware, stop, look, and listen to the voice of the Ruach HaKodesh. Again, keep calling to me and, and saying, "Miss, I miss your presence, for, this, for these are the ones that used to fill my presence and used to hear my voice daily and now notice my silence. But I will not always stay silent, my beloved ones. It is only for a short time. 
you will feel my grief, and and you must not go by your feelings, for this is of this is the flesh. You must go with your faith, for this is of the spirit. This day I have chosen to speak through this handmaiden. Do not argue amongst yourselves and say, Why would Yahweh speak through a woman or anoint her hands? I leave you with this. I choose to use whom I choose to use, and answer to no man. And if I had anointed only her mouth like she is accustomed to, and not anointed her hands on the keyboard, would you have heard me speak this message to her this day? You have answered your own question. Now please warn the people, though, the, though in the times of Noah most won't listen, still don't have the blood on your hands, like Ezekiel 3 says. Don't let the blood be found on your hands. Warn the people. There is yet a small amount of time left. For my son's sake, I have had mercy on the people. But the time of vengeance and judgment quickly approaches. Warn them and seek me while I yet can be found. Take note this date and watch closely the, event, the events in the world. 2-5-1997 I have forbidden my handmaiden, Sherry Elijah, to change one word that I have spoken, though she knows not all will welcome what I have spoken. Again, I warn those who are my enemies will pretend to be my friends. Judases, beware. For when you seek to harm this messenger, you are harming the one who has created her and anointed her. You will be the first to fills my wrath, and you will know my presence in ways you would rather not know it. I am angry! And you who have begged me to speak have heard the voice of love, reassurance, grief, and intense anger. You have heard the voice of the great Yahweh I am speak forth out of a broken vessel of clay this day. Pray for those who hearts who have tried to reach, yet push me away. Pray that they repent today, for tomorrow may be too late. End of prophecy. Given to Apostle Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya, 2 5, 1997.